Katera Construction is bankrupt and we have an update for you. And we have the latest in career opportunities. Let's get right to it. Roto-Rooter in Wilsonville is looking for an apprentice plumber slash technician. First year Roto-Rooter service technicians can expect top pay earning $55,000 on average. Pay increases quickly with each year of experience. So Roto-Rooter provides an initial 12 weeks of paid sewer and drain service training, plus continuing training in their in-house plumbing school to learn the trade. If hired, your daily job would be providing sewer and drain service to the residential and commercial customers. They're also seeking a water service technician at $55,000 to $60,000 a year, licensed plumbers, outside sales representatives, and drain service technicians. The positions also offer a full benefits package, including time, paid, off, medical, dental, and vision plans. And to easily apply, we have included a link below. In June 2021, we reported on the Katera construction bankruptcy, and we wanted to provide you with an update. We had looked at the implications in the earlier story, and we have researched this story further and wanted to provide a little background for those that don't know. Katera was an American technology-driven off-site construction company. It was founded in 2015 by Michael Marks, former CEO of Flextronics and former Tesla interim CEO, along with Fritz Wolf, the executive chairman of the Wolf Company. Katera was listed on LinkedIn's top startup companies to work for in 2017. That's why this was surprising. In January 2018, Katera took an $835 million investment from SoftBank. The investment was made from their vision fund mentioned in our previous report. Now, Katera was a large construction management conglomerate that manufactured large building components off-site, particularly for multifamily housing, but also large office buildings and facilities as well. They were the one-stop shop housing all the subcontracting, architecture, and management of large-scale projects under one roof. They primarily focused on modular construction techniques. For example, the company may fabricate an entire wall, including windows, off-site for final assembly on-site at a construction project. The technique allows lower cost, and the company claimed it resulted in higher quality finishes on projects. In May 2020, it was announced that as part of an additional $200 million raise from SoftBank, COO and former Schlumberger CEO Hal Kibsgaard took over replacing Michael Marks as CEO of Katera in June of 2020. Despite efforts to implement this business model effectively, there were claims of gross mismanagement at Katera and no profitability was ever achieved over the years. By June 2021, Katera announced plans to shut down announcing Chapter 11 bankruptcy, subsequently laying off remaining employees without paying out any earned personal time off or severance. This has now landed the case in a bankruptcy court in Houston, Texas. This matters because 32 debtor firms and thousands and thousands of workers were affected in the building trades industry. A website, Prime Clerk, has a full outline of the case and stated a hearing on the debtor's first day of motions was held on June 7, 2021 before the Honorable David R. Jones, United States Bankruptcy Court of the Southern District of Texas, and that's the Houston Division. And the first day of motions was held on July 12, 2021 at 2 p.m. for debtors and creditors. There are additional hearings and motions scheduled through December of 2021, and this is sure to be a business case study history for what happens when large construction firms fail. The next in the series of hearings is scheduled for September 30th, 
And we anticipate this will change how large scale construction management firms are funded and managed going forward in the US. If you're interested in listening to courtroom audio in this case, links are provided in the description where Prime Clerk has done a nice job of assembling all the information for easy accessibility, including a full timeline of all past and upcoming court hearings. Have you been affected by Katera? Or are any back wages owed to you? We would love to hear from you and tell your story. We will continue to follow this as it develops and thank you for tuning in. Please remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button, and don't forget that notification bell. My name is Sean Tolan for CBTV Portland. Y'all stay cool, stay safe, and have an amazing day.